Hello there. Have you ever found yourself spending excessive hours on social media, Netflix, or online games, feeling guilty because you had more important tasks to do, but lacking the willpower to stop because nothing seemed more interesting than mindlessly scrolling through an infinitely long feed? While this may seem like a natural and acceptable behavior in today's world, an experiment conducted in the 1950s will change your perception of it. Scientists James Olds, Peter Milner, and their colleagues conducted a bizarre experiment in which they implanted electrodes in the pleasure centers of rats' brains, directly stimulating them with small electrical impulses that simulated the natural pleasure of basic survival activities, such as sex and food. As a result, the rats learned to associate pressing a small lever with receiving the reward of an electrical stimulus. The electrical impulses were so pleasurable and easy to obtain that the rats pressed the lever up to 2,000 times per hour, stopping only due to physical exhaustion. In this obsessive behavior, they disregarded their basic needs for food, water, and even shelter. Now, let's substitute the lever with likes on Instagram, the play button on Netflix, the click on news, or the sense of victory in video games, and you'll realize that the mechanism behind compulsive behavior in the face of pleasurable distractions is precisely the same. We have access to endless distractions that bring us pleasure 24-7. The neurotransmitter dopamine is one of the factors that partly explains this behavior. Among its many functions, dopamine guides our attention to seek pleasurable activities such as eating, socializing, reproducing, or reinforcing pleasant experiences to be repeated in the future. However, when these natural behaviors are stimulated excessively by fast food, social media, or gambling, we are flooded with astronomical amounts of dopamine in a short period, causing our reward system to become overwhelmed and unprepared to handle so many stimuli. Taking action to rebalance the system is vital, and a drastically reduced number of dopamine receptors in the neurons is an effective mechanism for reducing the sensitivity to excessive stimulation called biological tolerance. Due to this tolerance, when people start drinking beer, for example, one can produces a certain level of happiness, but with time, we need more cans to achieve the same level of inebriation. This leads to the problem of tolerance, the lower the sensitivity of the neurons, the more intense the stimuli needed to awaken their interest. As a result, anything that is less stimulating, no matter how valuable or important, becomes boring and monotonous. This is why it is becoming increasingly difficult to study, read a book, or stay focused on our projects. Compared to the high levels of dopamine produced by modern distractions, simple activities that produce less dopamine become complete boredom for the brain. Unfortunately, we are the ones who suffer the consequences because our lack of interest leads to superficial relationships, anxiety, and a lack of focus, which ultimately leads to procrastination. One possible solution to this problem is the practice of dopamine fasting, which involves periodic abstinence from ultra-stimulating and problematic modern activities. The rationale behind this proposal is that by fasting periodically, you can restore balance to your dopaminergic system and sensitivity to stimuli. This way, you can increase your self-control, and even activities that produce little dopamine can become interesting again. In conclusion, excessive stimulation is causing our reward system to become overwhelmed and unresponsive to less stimulating activities, which has led to an increase in compulsive behavior and a decrease in self-control. Practicing dopamine fasting could be an effective way to restore balance and sensitivity to stimuli, thereby increasing our ability to focus and stay motivated to pursue our goals. Did you like the video? Leave a like and follow the channel. See you next time.